What is up, YouTube? It is Doki or Doki Style Gaming, and we're back at it with some more Anthem news and information for you all today. Now, in this video, I really wanted to get out to you guys today because tomorrow, October 26th, Anthem will be at Paris Games Week, and we should be expecting some brand new content or information tomorrow as well. Also, this video, we're going to be covering personal customization, emotes, HUDs, consumables, pets, a new look at the storm, new NPCs, and so much more. So, definitely stay tuned to the end of the video to find out all the new information that we got so far this week from the devs and questions answered by Mark Dara. So, like I always say in every single one of my videos, without further ado, let's jump straight into the new news and information that we got this week from Anthem and their devs. So first we're going to cover the most important things that came from Anthem Games Twitter themselves. Then we're going to start covering some of the dev related tweets and then we'll finish it off with the Mark Dara questions that people asked on Twitter. So, First, let's start with the most important thing, which is Anthem will be at Paris Games Week tomorrow, October 26th, which is Friday, and we should be expecting new info and potentially brand new content ahead of next week's live stream on November 1st. And then also on top of that, like Anthem typically does every time they go to a gaming convention, they will also be doing an AMAAAA like they always do and like I always say whenever they do do one of these. If you guys have any interesting, unique, and unanswered questions that haven't been covered on this channel or haven't been asked before, leave them in the comment section and like I always do, I will tweet all of them out to any of the devs or Mark Dara for the AMAA and this page typically has a pretty good track record of getting questions answered so who knows what all we might get answered like I said leave some brand new questions that haven't been answered before then on top of that John Warner also went on to tweet that they'll be sharing some cool stuff from Paris so definitely expect something new whether it's content or just brand new information and they will be live streaming as well Anthem Game posted that as well on their official Twitter they'll be live streaming on twitch.tv slash Anthem Game at 5 p.m. CET or 8 a.m. p.m. PST or my time 10 a.m. Central so again you can kind of convert those to however you want I'll leave all of the actual times in the description of this video and I'll leave a link to their twitch in it probably be doing what we did last time whenever they had their live stream I'll go to my twitch I'll host it on the channel and we can all discuss everything that's being shown talked about in there so we're not just cluttering up the actual anthem game stream so we can actually have a personal conversation with everybody who subbed to the channel so definitely Definitely stop by my Twitch tomorrow if you guys want to check that out. Have a conversation and talk it up with me. Again, it is kind of early in the morning, but uh, if you can't make it, it's understandable. But if you can, definitely stop by to do that. Now that we got the info from Anthem Game and John Warner out of the way discussing new content tomorrow, let's talk about the actual most important tweet of this video. From Mike Gamble himself, it's a brand new look at the Storm Javelin. Oh my god. So, the tweet starts off by saying, I really want to talk to Zoe, but literally, everyone is wielding. Also, there's my storm, and here's a look at that image, and in the back you see a red and white storm javelin with a bit of black on it as well, and here is a closer look at that storm javelin, and oh my god, this is why the storm is already the true master race. Just look at that work of art. But, all seriousness, I hope they do show off that storm during the live stream. I hope it has certain gear attached that we haven't seen yet and the abilities are a bit different in terms of elements because we know that the storm has lightning but we haven't actually seen it use any other element yet so hopefully that storm will also be using different elements and we all know that Mike Gamble is a storm mastery fan so I'm hoping that's going to be the storm that he uses on the live stream let's get into another new look at a rabbit coming from another anthem devs themselves which is Emily and she posted a look at a grabbit and according to her tweet it is still cute but deadly so uh don't get too close to it but i always love seeing close-up images of different creatures in the environment of anthem so now that we got the most important dev tweets that have been gathered from the past couple of days let's get into the mark dara related questions that i know some of you subs have asked yourselves so the first tweet to come from mark dara's twitter actually comes from greg he asked how will we get consumables in anthem now i believe i covered this in a very old video 
when we were doing a breakdown of the original trailer or gameplay footage for 2018 and if you look in the corner which he provided an image of you do see that there are consumables and Mark Dara did say they are crafted now along with consumables there will be a lot of other things that can be crafted you'll get blueprints you'll be able to craft weapons gear and so much more so again how you'll be able to get your consumables you craft them so that is that the next tweet was asking if we'd be able to have pets or companions in the game and Mark Dara did say no pets not at launch now this is interesting because I have covered this before and originally it was a no because and their reason they gave back in the original tweet was it'll be too hard to domesticate one of the wild creatures the two you know crazy angry things of that nature but now that they're saying not at launch I wonder if this is something that they've decided to reconsider and potentially maybe something we can expect to see later on in the game which would be cool now back in the day they asked if there would be any riding creatures where it was like ah we don't really need to ride anything because we can fly but if it's just a companion that kind of sits on side of you or even a little flying creature that flies with you and attacks while you play the game I could see that being in the game I mean Warframe does something similar with their carriers and their Kubros so that would be something that could be implemented and would be pretty cool to see it implemented in the game the next tweet was asking if there would be colorblind support for the game and yes Mark Dara did confirm Anthem will have colorblind support I believe I covered this before as well in another older video but for all those people who need colorblind support it is in the game for those people who just like changing it to colorblind mode you have that option as well I have a bunch of friends that do that on destiny just so their engrams look like they're different colors or their loadout looks different I mean personal preference to each their own but that will be an Anthem if you choose to do that this next tweet was asking if there would be emotes in the game and Mark Dara of course did say yes now we've seen the wave emote and we've also seen another emote that I'm about to cover in this next tweet and the next tweet was a question asking Mark Dara will we have to reach a certain level to use the flashlight and flare and Mark Dara's reply was the flashlight is right away but the flare is an emote which are unlocks but he's not sure so he doesn't know 100% sure if there will be a level requirement to unlock the flare emo which they said you can use to light up tunnels you could just throw down to let your teammates know where you are in the game it's just a random emo that you can constantly do but flashlight I guess is pretty self-explanatory I think most games have a built-in flashlight even if it's not fully shown you have halo where master chief has the lights on his helmet you have destiny where your ghost provides the light warframe even provides a light for you as well so most games like that that's kind of generic and built in that you'll always have a light at the start of the game but it is kind of interesting that the flare is going to be an unlockable emo or potentially an unlockable emo now this next tweet is pretty self-explanatory but I wanted to put it in here just in case other people had questions similar to this as well but they asked if the flamethrower was the only elemental weapon in the game and Mark Dara said nah so don't expect the flamethrower to be the only elemental weapon plus if I'm not mistaken I believe the flamethrower is a gear attachment and not truly a weapon I'm pretty sure I've covered this before but they've said that there would be different type of elements to weapons or at least different type of firing styles as well like beam burst actual tracing you know so I'm 100% sure that there'll be different types of weapons but it's also pretty safe to assume that there'll be different elements to each of the weapons as well considering all the javelins or there are at least four different types of elements in the game that we know of so far it would make sense that the weapons have different elements and how heavily this game likes to push the whole combo feature putting two elements together to do a special damage type it would make a lot of sense that elements would be on weapons in the game so I thought like I said that was pretty self-explanatory but it was asked and I wanted to cover that just in case anybody was wondering as well the next tweet was asking if enemies you attack will follow you or will you be able to fly away now Mark Dara did say they will follow you but you can usually get away so that's like most games I'm pretty sure most of the creatures when you hit them they have a little area that they can stay within so they'll probably follow you to an extent and then they'll just turn back around to their little area that they're programmed to be in or stay in that they're kind of restricted to but I guess the best thing to do is avoid it because if you don't plan on killing it don't shoot at it this next tweet is a older tweet but I've seen it in my comment section a couple of 
videos ago so I wanted to put that in here as well but they asked if customization will be locked behind grinding and Mark Dara of course did say some personalization needs to be unlocked so there will be certain finishes certain paint jobs probably even certain color wheels that you have to unlock via gameplay which is perfectly fine I'd rather grind for it than pay for it so I'm perfectly fine with that being the case for customization and then the final tweet I got from Mark Dara was a tweet that a lot of people had actually been asking for in the comment section and we've actually talked about it, I think on stream a couple times too but they were wondering will the heads up display or the HUD and Anthem be customizable and Mark Dara did say not at launch so again doesn't seem like that's something we should expect when the game drops but could be potentially something that'll come in the future so that's really all I got for this video today guys like I said I really just wanted to get this video out before tomorrow and we get any new information because most likely I'll be covering the new info that we get whether it be information or gameplay tomorrow or Saturday on the channel as well and then also again if you guys have any questions that you want answered leave them in the comment section like I say leave me some unique questions that have never been answered or as to Mark Dara or any of the devs and I'll tweet those out for all of you guys even though I'd spend my whole day doing it I'll do it and hopefully we get some of them answered because I'd love to bring some new information to the channel as well also if you haven't already like always say go follow me on my social media accounts I have a patreon as well if you want to support the channel and for the contest it ends in about two weeks so if you guys haven't entered for your second chance to win an anthem game go enter if you haven't entered yet so that's all I got for this video everyone thank you all for watching and sticking around you guys are the best thanks for the love thanks for the subs i'll catch y'all in the next one peace